It's time to turn your website into a conversion machine. What's up guys, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur. And in this video, we are going to turn the tables on traditional website design and turn your website into a lean, mean, lead generation sales machine. So a lot of the advice in here is probably gonna fly in the face of a lot of what's recommended when it comes to designing your website. Now we want to design our website just like a sales funnel. And that's why this video is all about a website sales funnel because we want to turn your main website into the front end of a sales funnel and stop treating it like just some random site that provides a bunch of information. We want to be extremely strategic with every single page on your site so that it functions just like a sales funnel. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with a sales funnel, a sales funnel is a simple process that takes strangers and turns them into customers, fans, and raving subscribers. And for some reason, when it comes to designing our main website, we seem to forget that we're supposed to be selling. A lot of people, they have their main website and then they have all of their sales funnel, funnel pages, their landing pages, their sales pages. And in this video, I'm gonna say they need to be merged right starting right now. And when you're done upgrading your site with the tips and tricks in this video, make sure you stick around to the end because I have a free template for you to take your website sales funnel to the next level. And so one of the things you wanna start thinking about with your website is to think of every page as a landing page or a sales page. So here's what I mean. With your homepage, and your homepage should be all about your ideal customer, right? Your homepage should not be, here's our company, here's you know what, all of what makes us great. Your homepage should function just like a landing page would. When someone goes to a landing page, they're looking for what can you do for me? Your homepage should function the same way. And your homepage essentially should function as a gateway to your sales funnels. So if you have a blog, then you'll have two calls to action on your homepage. Number one, you'll have a call to action to enter their name and email for some free, free offer, right? That free offer is the beginning of a sales funnel. So now you've taken a segment of the people who've hit your website and you've immediately put them into a sales funnel. That's essentially how a website sales funnel works. Or maybe they don't wanna enter their name and email yet. Okay, great, they just met you, that's fine. Check out some awesome content from me. That should be the second call to action on your homepage, right? So you'll have a particular set of blogs and your blogs will be part of your content marketing sales funnel. Again, check out the link in the description to a video all about you know content marketing sales funnels. If they're not interested in that, then you can provide additional information on your homepage, but what's important is the only links provided on your homepage essentially give them though one of those two options. They either opt in to be immediately put into a sales funnel or they click a piece of content to begin engaging with your content and that piece of content drives them to one of your sales funnels, right? So this is essential to ensuring that your website is a lean, mean sales funnel machine because every call to action is essentially driving them to one of your sales funnels. Next up, we have the About Us page. And one of the big mistakes people make with the About Us page is assuming that it's the opportunity to talk about how wonderful we all are. And as much as we'd like to do that, unfortunately, the About Us page, again, is about our customers, right? It's about our prospects, it's about the viewer, it's not really about us. So your About Us page should read like a sales letter. It should be a emotionally driven story that connects with your ideal customer and at the end of it has a clear call to action to say, hey, that's why we are here. Essentially, you wanna connect with the ideal, your ideal customer on a deep emotional level as much as you can in a very short sales letter piece, essentially telling your story or telling customer stories and say, that's why we're here and I want you to join us and solve the problem that you're here to solve, essentially. So the call to action on this page can be one of two things. You can either, again, drive them to opt into a sales funnel, or you can link them up to the product or services page right then and there. And then on the products and services page, you guessed it, it's another sales page. So it can be a pricing table with all of the benefits and features, or it can be a long form sales letter, or it can actually just be a short VSL sales letter that talks about, hey, this is what we do, this is who we do it for, and this is why it's so critical to your success in whatever you're selling. Again, that product or services or pricing page should again be all about the customer and the call to action should be to purchase the product right then and there or sign up for a piece of content to learn more. 
And that covers pretty much all of the pages you should have on your website. Most other pages are just going to be a distraction from driving people to either engaging with your content or opting in for one of your sales funnels. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe. Over on the channel, you can check out the channel link where I actually have a complete mini course and templated done for you guide on how to create a webinar sales funnel. And so this is one of the sales funnels that your main website sales funnel can drive traffic to. So for example, on your homepage, you can have an offer there saying, hey, we have this upcoming webinar that talks about X and that can be the first call to action on your homepage. You can also have a webinar call to action on your sales page. You can talk about all your different pricing or you can drive traffic to a webinar that actually talks about your product or service or provides a demo. It's a very, very effective way to take traffic that comes to your website and they're trying to kind of learn a little more about you and immediately offer them something valuable and get them into a sales funnel and email sequence where you can continue to grow and build a relationship with them. So if you have any questions about what it takes to turn a plain Jane old boring website into a sales funnel conversion machine, go ahead and drop those in the comments below and make sure to subscribe because over on the channel, I have a ton of videos just like this one going over marketing tactics in terms of building sales funnels and Facebook marketing videos for driving traffic via Facebook ads and Instagram content strategy and so much more when it comes to building a business from scratch. I hope you enjoy this video and join the aspiring entrepreneur community over there. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.